Hey guys, I uh, just want to do a quick video about connecting your uh, P-Series. Um, I've got this uh, flat tinning copper braid. It's just, it's just copper braid. Uh, it's much, much thicker than a nickel plate. So I use nickel plate for the series, but for parallel connections uh, on the top and the bottom, I use the copper, um, copper, t um, copper braid. Uh, I've never really had problem, but I actually um, used uh, for this connection up to the top since it's so small. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Uh, it's like the battery's almost connected. So for for these connections, I just use a regular um, uh, tin, uh, nickel strip. Sorry, it's just been a long two days. It's this is my second day just working on it straight all day. Um, these are really easy to solder on. So. Basically, each of these wires can support up to 50 amps. So if you put two like this, it's almost like 100 amps. You'll have no problem. Uh, now, the point is not to run it at 100 amps, but to keep it safe. So they should have no problem. Um, just just to put it on, it's really simple. Just put a little bit of solder. I put it in the between the batteries so it doesn't heat up the batteries. And then I put a little bit of solder on the tin. And then you put it on top and just push it down uh, with like a uh, something like a like a little screwdriver, push it down while with the solder and then it'll just uh, hold it while it's melting and boom, it's right in there. Um, you can also do multiple points, but two points should be plenty enough. Um, yeah, just for your P points, instead of doing multiple layers of uh, nickel strips, which can fall apart real easy and they're just not that reliable. I think they're only reliable, uh, rated for like, like 13 amps, 15 amps, depending on the size you use. But they're not really rated for much. But these uh, support up to 50 amps each. Um, so that's 100 amps support right there. Um, so I don't know. This is something I'm trying because other builders are doing something similar. Uh, but like I said, I had to build it double stacked. I was going to actually build a single, nice single uh, thin layer. But I had to do this because of the battery box. I didn't have a choice. I didn't have any other battery boxes to use and I didn't want to wait. I'm a very impatient person, but uh, it's working. I'm getting uh, 44 volts. I need to charge up the battery. Uh, the BM, Everything's connected. I just finished the last uh, connection there with the copper braid. Uh, have a great day. Hopefully I'll get on my board and see how well this new 12S 4P goes.